My life as a teenage robot tackled all sorts of topics which teenagers and children in general could relate to. This included hopeless crushes, throwing a party, and feeling different from everyone. Children have struggled with all of these things in the past. A lot of kids have to deal with siblings, which can be a blessing or a curse. My Life as a Teenage Robot covers both sides of having siblings. Jenny's robot name, XJ9, implies that there are at least eight other XJ models. And there are. There are eight other XJ models, all which rely on one personality trait. A concept which I believe the Loud House straight up stole. But I won't point fingers. The XJ sisters appear in multiple episodes. Some of their appearances are brief cameos, while others are centered around them. They appear in Sibling Tsunami, Sibling Sledgehammer, Agent 00 Sheldon, Escape from Cluster Prime, Labor Day, and one other episode which we aren't mentioning. Anyways, XJ1 is an egg-shaped baby. And that's her entire personality. She cries a lot and does baby things. While she can only communicate in beeps and boops, her crying voice was done by none other than Janice Kawaii, who voices Jenny. XJ2 is designed like a laser gun. Her blasts are uncontrollable and she malfunctions a lot. She doesn't say anything besides hiccup when she misfires. I literally forgot about this character until I started making this video. So let's just move on. XJ3 is the first XJ model which takes the form of a traditional robot. She looks like a toddler. If a toddler had one huge eye and pincers for hands. XJ3 is prone to falling apart and she's the only XJ model which has no voice actor whatsoever. XJ4's entire purpose is to clean. She has four arms which allows her to clean faster. XJ4 has to clean after XJ1 and XJ3, since one of them makes a mess all the time and the other falls apart often. XJ4 is also the first model that can speak fluently. XJ5 She doesn't shut up. She really doesn't freaking shut up. She's the first XJ model to have pigtails and she has the ability to fly. You may recognize her voice actress, Kath Susie, from Rugrats. You're not worthless, XJ7. Why melt it down? You easily fetch $20 at the recycling plant. And there's more where that come from, big boy. XJ6 is Jenny's jealous sister. She's constantly envious of Jenny. Whether that be because of Nora keeping Jenny activated or because of Jenny being more attractive. XJ6 is basically the embodiment of the jealous teenage girl. Apparently, XJ6 was inspired by a Shakespeare quote which stated, Oh, beware, my lord of jealousy. It is the green-eyed monster which doth mock. You can see how this quote could have inspired her green design and personality. XJ6 was voiced by Candy Milo, who also voiced Nora and Teresa. XJ7 is the super depressed robot who is constantly sad and gloomy. That's really all there is to say about her. She was voiced by Audrey Wasilewski, who voiced Tuck, Misty, and our final XJ model, XJ8. XJ8 is huge. Her face is completely non-expressive and she's definitely the most intimidating. XJ8 is stronger than any of the other XJ units, but Jenny has a better sense of right and wrong, which makes her the better crime fighter. You can only judge XJ8's emotions from her eyes. Otherwise, she's unreadable. XJ8 also appeared separated from the other models in There's No Place Like Homeschool. I might be mistaken, but I think this is the only instance of one of the first eight XJ models being separated from the rest of the group for an episode. The XJ sisters first appeared in Sibling Tsunami, where Jenny wishes that she had siblings. She eventually discovers that she actually does have siblings. Nora was just keeping them hidden away, deactivated. Jenny goes ahead and reactivates them. Jenny learns that siblings can be a pain to deal with, and she starts wishing that she was an only child. Naturally, she learns that her siblings are special, and she learns to love them, despite their differences. Throughout the remainder of the show, the XJ sisters are deactivated and only reactivated when they're needed to solve a problem, such as Jenny getting controlled in Sister Slammer, or to be Jenny's date at a homeschool dance in there's no place like homeschool. They've also been ignored for the convenience of the plot. This was acknowledged in Escape from Cluster Prime. Of course, they were in that other episode too, but I don't think we should talk about that one today. We've talked about this like a billion times on this channel, but XJ10 was also teased in A Robot for All Seasons, 
but never actually got the chance to be used in an episode. Hopefully I can go a full month without writing about XJ-10 again. Even though XJ-10 didn't happen, Jenny still has a ninth sibling. Armageddroid. Yeah, technically Armageddroid is Jenny's sibling and only known brother. Dr. Wakeman designed Armageddroid 20 years before the events of My Life as a Teenage Robot. Renzetti has confirmed that they're technically siblings, but Jenny wouldn't consider him to be family. He's also not an XJ unit, so we won't dwell on this any longer. We'll probably cover Armageddroid in further detail in a future video, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, do you guys have a favorite XJ sister? Jenny doesn't count, don't be a smartass. We prompted artists on our Discord to draw their favorite XJ sister for the art section of this video. We'll be doing that a lot from now on, so if you'd like to contribute, join our Discord. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've been your narrator, Andre. Thanks for watching. watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a rating. If you want to reach us, leave a comment. Or check out our other platforms. Links are in the description. Roblox Jenny is my favorite XJ sister.